Hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Come on in. Come on in. Hello, everybody. My name is Elliot Martin. I'm with uh, Martin and Associates Insurance. We're an independent insurance agency. And today uh, we're going to be having a Medicare topic of the day. Does uh, dental or is does Medicare cover dental and vision? So routine dental, routine vision. I get this question very often. Um, you know, as going through going through the different things that Medicare covers and doesn't cover, and some of the big topics, uh, points of interest are dental and vision. So, right off the bat, original Medicare Part A and Part B of Medicare, it, you know, those benefits that you get from paying your Medicare and Social Security tax throughout your working career, does not have any coverage for dental, routine dental, so cleanings, cavities, fillings, crowns, bridges, dentures. Um, Implants, Medicare does not pay for any of that type of routine dental work. Um, so that one right off the bat, not covered. Vision, so coverage for eyeglasses at your optometrist, uh, contact lenses, Medicare does not cover that either. What Medicare does cover as far as vision goes is treatment for eye illness. So things like glaucoma, macular, mac, macular degeneration, that's a, I have a tough time saying that one. Um, if you need a cataract surgery, Medicare will cover that. But your eyeglasses, contact lenses, frames, Medicare is not going to pay for that. So where, where can you get coverage for that? So a lot of times if you're in a Medicare Advantage plan, they will include a lot of times to varying amounts, they'll throw in an extra benefit for dental and an extra benefit for, for vision, for eyeglasses as well, or contact lenses. So you have to check if you're in a Medicare Advantage plan, you have to check your specific plan because it's gonna vary between plans, what kind of dental coverage you have. It could be HMO coverage, uh, could be, it's possible it could be a reimbursement program, like there's a plan that'll give you, um, for example, $2,000 a year as reimbursement for dental work. So you have to pay for it on your own, you keep itemized receipts, and then you submit a claim to that specific insurance company who has that benefit. So if you're in a Medicare Advantage, you do have to see if your plan has that built in uh, as an extra benefit because it's not a um, um, not really a Medicare specific um, uh, service that's covered. It's it's got to be an extra benefit that's added on to your Medicare Advantage plan. Um, Medicare supplement plans sometimes they sometimes they will, but it requires you to purchase one of the uh, extra plans, like a G extra or an innovative plan F or a plan that has extra benefits built in. So there may be a standard plan G and then it's possible you're, there's companies that offer a G extra that has vision benefits or a hearing aid benefit. But usually what I've seen is dental, even on the Medicare supplement plans, the, the G extras, for example, dental you still have to purchase separately as an additional add-on. Um, so a lot of times Medicare supplement plans, you know, there's usually no dental. You have to pay for that separately. Um, and then sometimes you can get Medicare supplement plans that will include vision benefits. You kind of have to see case by case. The other alternative, um, because a lot of times we don't suggest the dental and vision plans, or at least the dental plans you can get within your Medicare supplement. Um, you can always add on separate dental insurance through a Delta Dental or a Meritas PPO Dental you can add on kind of like a standalone dental plan if that's something you're interested in. So it doesn't have to do anything, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be tied to your Medicare plans. You can go out and purchase separate standalone dental insurance or even vision insurance, um, you know, and, and plans, it depends on where you live, the different prices and coverage you can get. Um, and yeah, so that would be another option. The other thing, if you are looking into dental, you're not sure if you want it or not, or if it's going to make sense to do it or not. Talk to your dentist, see what they would recommend, see what types of insurance they like, they don't like, uh, what plans they accept and don't accept, if they think you should be a cash patient, or if they think that dental insurance would be beneficial for you, that would be a good conversation to have with your dentist as well. Um, so that is um, kind of the topic for today, the gist of dental insurance. If you do want dental quotes, we, can, we might be able to help you out with some quotes depending on where you live. Um, you can reach out to us. You can visit us at martinmedicare.com. Um, and that is the Medicare topic of the day. I'm going to be covering, try and cover a topic, trying every day, but um, sometimes that doesn't happen. But, um, you know, try and do these short, you know, five to 10 minute videos covering different Medicare topics. So if you 
value some of this information and want to get some of these updates and information on different Medicare topics, feel free to subscribe to my channel here. And uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments section. And that is going to cover uh, today's video. So thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you got some good information from this. And we'll see you on the next live stream. Take care. Bye-bye.